Hi guys, uh, Hunter here at um, well it's Monday I'm afraid. I know. But had a cracking weekend, lovely weather, and um, managed to get out shooting. Saturday, farm permission, um, cow farm, and um, got some good good shots there for you guys, some pigeons, crows, jackdaws, um, even a magpie I think. And they they're getting in the feed and shitting in the feed and um, spreading all their muck and mess everywhere so at the farmer's request I had to go clearing them out for him but it, were, it got really hot by I think 11 12 so I decided to pack it up about that I was there from about maybe six o'clock so seven o'clock so I think I decided to pack it up by about 12 but before I went he, um, he was telling me we were having some problems with some rats um, he's got a load of like like truck containers um, and basically they're side by side and they have like a galvanised like gate or a swing gate on them for the, for the it keeps all the young calves in there basically in each one but one of them has got a lot of feeding for the horses um, there's some stables on there and they keep a lot of feed in this in this container and uh, the hop, the, all the rats are underneath and they're getting inside and, and they're nicking the feed and so he took me inside and he had a metal bar and he whacked the pallet with the feed on and about so our 13 rats easily come flying out of there right past his feet which makes you jump a bit because you know they're that close to you and <laughs> I don't know just, <laughs> maybe just a bit of a girl but um, they could, normally I'm fine at 15 yards away from me I don't like the things to be truthful with you and um, so he were putting poison down and I said don't poison him bring me and I'll shoot him so I said I'd go back up the Sunday night to shoot some and um, I did but First of all, I had to take the missus out on Sunday day. We're a glorious weekend, as I've said. Really sunny. And um, we hired a boat at Windermere at Lake District and we went out on the boat. And um, I took her out on that, a couple of hours there. Then we went for something to eat, a couple of drinks. And then, I, well, I know, I know what you're thinking. I know. You're thinking, this girl is so lucky to have a guy like me take her out and treat her to a, a boat ride and a steak meal and um, she was dead grateful as you can imagine there she is looking beautiful and because of that what I can only describe as an heroic kindness slash effort she allowed me to go riding on the Sunday tea time so by the time when we got home about four or five o'clock packed my stuff up real quick, flew over to the permission, same permission, and um, had a go at the rats. So I managed to get a couple in the evening, and then some as it got dark, but it don't get dark, it's like well half ten at night. So it's like, I were, I were waiting around quite a bit for these for these rats to show themselves, and obviously they move around a bit quicker in the day. But you'll see in the footage anyway, and I'm, I'm just glad that I managed to get out a couple of times over the weekend, get some... Um, get some family time in as well which is a bonus it's always good to spend quality time with missus family's got to come first and um, yeah managed to, managed to put you guys a video together so I hope you enjoy until next time take care just behind me there is um, like a big cattle run and all the jackdaws come down off the roof and um, come down into the feed um, and they shit in the feed and obviously steal it as well um, so we're just clearing out them at the farmer's request. Um, so far it's been quite productive. But um, I'll give you a little look anyway. I'll give you a look at my view. So I'll see if I can stick you up there, guys. So obviously we've got to be careful with the cows. Um, use a good backstop but I am elevated so when I shoot I'll be angling downwards and um, if I do get a miss or it goes through then it'll hit the straw in the back or there'll be a decent backstop um, so I wish me luck hopefully we can get quite a few cheers guys Beautiful.
This one was right at the end of the shoe. I just tried some pigeon decoys and it definitely got a bit of interest off this check now. So I honestly don't know what happened with this first shot, but it definitely got him in the second. So this was about a 60 yard shot, I really didn't expect to hit it, but it was just pure luck. Oh, that is some shot. Second shot, unfortunately, on that one. Um, yeah, he's dead now. It's a little, there's a little breeze, but probably just my mistake. But a quick follow up shot, and he's finished for now. Yeah, that's him dead. Yeah, tail's whacking now, he's on his ass. <laughs> 